from the studios of Channel 7. It's Detroit's only morning talk show, the Emmy Award-winning Kelly and Company. <laughs> morning, everyone. Well, everybody's excited this morning. Are you all excited out there? Yeah. yeah. Guess who's coming for breakfast? <laughs> well, we expected everyone to be a little excited when we announced that Engelbert Humperdinck was going to be on the show, but we really didn't expect the response that we ended up getting. People calling, saying the only thing... Welcome to Kelly and Company, Engelbert Humperdinck. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I was watching everybody in the audience before you came. Are you okay, dear? <laughs> and they were talking, and one was saying, get a picture of these two gals in the front. Get, Can I have purple a sweater, white suit. They were saying, I can't stand this. I don't know. I can't stand it. I can't believe this. Do you have this kind of effect on most women? I don't know. It's nice, though. I like it. You like it? I sure do. Well, you've been getting it for many, many years. Yeah. Has the response changed uh, over the years? 20 years, I think, you've yeah, been Actually, th star. this year is my anniversary, my 20th year in, um, oh, as it? a recording artist. Oh, is it really? And my, as you, uh, you may be aware of it, that Release Me is my um, signature tune type of thing. And it was released in 1967, January the 13th. Yeah. So it's like um, 20 years, three days ago. Isn't that something? And uh, so you're a celebration for me. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> you are. You know, I have heard that you really, I mean, you just don't not like getting up in the morning. You hate getting up in the morning. I really don't mind it, but uh, I only had a couple of hours sleep, and I've just come back from England, you know, and uh, I got on the plane, plane about uh, four days ago, and I sat down on British Airways in this. British flight attendant came up and said, you, you, you can't sit here, you know. I said, look here, chappie, I paid my money, I can sit here. He says, all right, all right, you fly the plane. <laughs> <laughs> now, you... In my show, that's in my show. Well, you were, you just got back from, Lon from London, you said, okay? Yes. Um, did you work last night? You didn't work last I night. I did work last night. You two did? Sh two shows. Where did you work last night? A at the Premier Center. Oh, you're going to be there Friday, tonight, and Saturday. I didn't yeah, know. Tonight. See, I was out of town. I was tonight in Chicago tomorrow, yesterday. Yeah. So I, I didn't know what was going on in Detroit, right? Anybody see the show last night? Oh, yeah. oh see? What, uh, what time does the show end? What time does your show end at the Premier Center? What time does it finish at night? Mm -hmm. They, they know more than I do. Does it finish at 1.30? Uh -huh. And I hear you got sleep at 3.30. Yes. Does it take you... <laughs> does it take you a couple hours to sort of come down off that stage and really, it does, really relax? It does. Wind down type of thing? Yes. What do you do to wind down? <laughs> no, I just, I just get back and I just kick back for a little bit and wind down in the dressing room, you know. Kick back? What do you mean? Just you know, sort like, of put relax? put my feet up and relax and... and um, all my people around me and they, uh, my dancers and singers and musicians. They're and all around you? Watching yeah. you kick back? Yeah. Well, you know, we have a, a drink after You have show. a little party, kind of. A little sort of get-together with mm -hmm. the people that are around you. What time do you usually get up in the morning, then? What's uh, your normal time? Afternoon. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but afternoon. I, I, do like to, I do like to get up and do something, you know, like get up about 11 or 12 o'clock. And, so, you know, boy, this is really right out of your natural well, it is, routine, our habitat, isn't it? I did this, I did this about uh, 10 days ago when I was back home in, in, uh, in England. I had to go to London. I got up at 5 o'clock. had to be on the set by 7, seven o'clock, mm -hmm. you know. It was an early morning show. And um, I did quite well, actually. <laughs> I mean, I did really well. I stayed up and everything was fine. I was you know, talking I... about my tour and... Yeah. You know, and because I'm doing I'm doing a tour this year to celebrate. I told you, and I'm and I'm uh, I'm also doing a tour in my hometown in Leicester, 
England. That's where I come from, Leicester, you see. Leicester? England. England? Yes. People think of you as kind of being, well, you're a sex symbol, you're a Don Juan, you're, you're exciting to women. Women fall all over you, right? You're married, you've got four kids. Yes, that I know, yes. Doesn't... <laughs> No, really, I, t I tell you... You're provocative. <laughs> you know... Now, how does your wife stand that? I mean, doesn't it drive she... her nuts? Well, she's never around with me, so she, she can stand it, you know. What she doesn't know doesn't hurt her. <laughs> Do we like that? No. Well, she's not... I mean, she do it doesn't hurt her because she's not around to see it happen, whatever happens. What? You know, like, for well, instance... What, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? You cheat and you have affairs? Who said I and... cheat and who said I have well, affairs? Well, what do you do? What are you trying to do? <laughs> All right. You go you her, your way, she goes her No, no. No, I just, uh, she, she You have an understanding? No, 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 no. I'm not doing very well this morning. No, really, yeah. no. We, we, uh, she, she's in England and I'm uh, over here. I mean, to travel on the road is a very difficult job, you know. And I do have, uh, I still have a 12-year-old at, at home in England mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. goes to school, etc. And, and sometimes they come and see the show and, you know, they may be in the audience. And I, I very seldom introduce my children in the audience, you know, because, you know, one time I was in Vegas and I, and I said, there's a child of mine in the audience and 57 people stood up <laughs> and... I don't do that sort of thing anymore. But they are, I try to keep them out of show business as much as possible until they are old enough to do it themselves, you know. You got it? N none of them are in show business right now? Uh, I, my daughter's in show business, yeah. She's, uh, she's an actress so far. She's the eldest, so she's, and she's very good at what she now, does. Now, when you first started, you, you kind of did the tight pants, sexy image. You're not doing that anymore. I still have the tight pants because it, <laughs> But that's, I, I... Can you get into the same tight pants? Well, you know, I've often had people ask me, how the devil do you get into those things? How does one get into those pants? I said, well, you start off with a kiss. <laughs> Am I going too fast for you this morning? Now? No, baby, you're not going too fast for me. <laughs> She's fun. We're, we're, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break. Uh, good time. We'll be right back with Engelbert Humperdinck. Get ready to laugh your heart out. Let's go, Ashley. School pictures tomorrow. I'm the ugliest girl in the whole school. Fantastic Sam's can make the difference when it has to be right. Now our 487 children's special. Shampoo, rinse, cut, and style. No extras. Plus our 787 adult and 1987 perm specials. Guess what? James wants my picture. He said I look fantastic. Get the fantastic difference at Fantastic Sam's. Now there's chili makers and chili fakers, but when you've got a craving for down-home Texas chili, there's one premeditated, outrageous chili. Carol Shelby's original Texas brand chili mix, about the tastiest bowl of red you ever ate, comes with Carol's blend of spices plus cayenne pepper. Craving hot, slapping a lot. Are you listening? Are we communicating authentic Texas chili? Because when you say Carol Shelby's original Texas brand chili mix, well, Carol? He said a mouthful. Are you providing care at home for an elderly loved one? You don't have to do it alone. When you need relief, call Elder Care Share at 399-1114 for help. Say good night to rising prices now during RJ Lead's Sleeper's Choice Sealy Sale. Come in today and choose Gentle Firm, each piece $58 twin size. Select Deluxe Firm, $78 twin or full size. Go for Extra Firm, only $98 twin, full or queen size. And this Super Posture Pedic, each piece, any size, even king, just $138 at RJ Lead's, where you couldn't do better if you were family. Hurry, sail in soon. He's back! 
about the steak and all you can eat shrimp and salad bar special. Steak. A juicy charbroiled steak. Shrimp. All the shrimp you can eat. And everything from soup to salads to desserts at our Fresh Test Geeks food bar. A great deal. And with all this delicious food, some people just can't get enough. Discover the steak, shrimp, and salad bar special. See you tomorrow. See ya. Discover the dance. video right no that that's, that's uh, been out a little while now I've just I've just done a new video actually in uh, in London and uh, just because it's my anniversary of release me I've done a video of release me which is being re-released in Europe which is being re-released yeah and it's quite interesting actually because it starts the whole video it has like the story that is uh, it tells is of course I'm leaving one woman and going to another and it starts off in bed <laughs> With one. It really does, and we have two versions, one for sort of the nightclubs and one which is probably go out on television like this, but one is a little, and the other one is fine. One is a little, what's a little, little mean? Well, you know, there's a little bit of nudity in it, my dear. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Yeah, not me. <laughs> not you. No, no, Everybody no. Everybody else, right? Everybody else but me. But you don't see too much. It's just, you know, it's just fine line. The fine line is there. <laughs> Uh, fine line. You know? No, you, are you in Europe more than you are in the United States? I mean, do you perform over there more than you do in this country? Oh, uh, not really. I don't perform. I, I am doing a, a European tour this year. I'm going to, to do one in London. I'm going to, to Germany, Belgium, and Holland. And uh, hopefully, I think by the end of the day, I'm going to go back to Australia. But I think the majority of my touring is in the United States, Canada, etc. A lot of questions, yes. Questions. Uh, I understood that you have a place in Escondido Hills. Where? In Escondido Hills, California. I don't even no? know where it is. You don't know where it is? All no, right. I don't have then a place the, there, no. the green light doesn't go on when you come home. <laughs> That's what the story was. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Uh, no, really? I, li I live in California, but I live uh, in... Where, on uh, Sunset? On Sunset Boulevard. Oh, I saw yeah. your house being um, built, I believe, or renovated uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that... I, I had just had a new pool. pool, pool. Isn't that amazing what they know about you? It's amazing. I've enjoyed you for the 20 years, too. Now, I, I heard that you bought Jane Manfield's, Mansfield? Yeah, I have a home, yes, her. Her home? Yeah. The Pink Palace? Or the Pink Palace. It isn't pink anymore? Well, it's going to be pink again. It wasn't. It's going, it's going back to being pink this really? year. Really? Yeah, it sort of lost its identity when I took the color away from it. I like pink. I do. I love pink. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my love. I love and okay, Look my at this. My kids bought this for me for December the 20th, my birthday. And all I've ever wanted to do is meet you. You're the greatest, the finest, and everything else. I could go on for days, but <laughs> now, I wish I could have an autograph. What is it about him that turns you on? Wow. Ooh. I mean, he's the best. His mouth, his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. My you kids like are looking at me right now. Oh, I love you. I always have. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> my, my brother's videotaping this. <laughs> and I love this moment in time. And to all the girls I've loved before that you sung on television, at the beauty pageant. I love well, an autograph you. and a hug. Well, wait, <laughs> anything. <okay. laughs> One, anything. Anytime. <laughs> wait till after. Whoop, I got caught in your hair here. Uh, anybody else Thank have you. a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Engelbert, are you scheduled to appear anywhere else uh, this year in, uh, in this area? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't really know uh, whether I am going to be scheduled. Am I? This ask some you, of the you don't have a microphone, what? sir. Am I going to be scheduled around here somewhere else? Uh, uh, not very soon. You, you don't know? <laughs> I'm his fan club president. Oh, oh I, I, honest, I didn't know that. Yeah, I have your itinerary here. Well, well, she's at the premiere of Sarah tonight, tomorrow night. They know right. more about me than I know about right. myself. Right. Right. 
Yeah, Ange, we heard that uh, you might be on Magnum P.I., is that... Oh, yeah? Oh, didn't you know? <laughs> yes, you're supposed to... No, I really That's like it. to do that. I'd like to do that because I, grow this, I grew this mustache, especially for that particular situation. I don't want him to have everything. <laughs> My father owns a recording studio, Sterling Sound Productions, and I was wondering if you ever visit or do you own your own studio? No, I don't. No? No. Yeah. Are you going to sing for us today? I don't think. It's a little early. My pa oh. After all, he's Not hardly awake, right? Do any of your children sing like you? No, because you see, my daughter has a higher pitched voice than I do. Oh. Here. Uh, I know, are you going to have a video like all the star singing stars? Are you going to do a video on television for television? Yeah, I just, I think I just mentioned that I, about the things that are in the bed. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I just want, I just wondered, have you ever performed in Canada? Yes. In Windsor? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Coming again? I think we're going to Canada. The, by the end of the year, we'll be going to Canada. What's the most embarrassing thing a woman's ever done to you on stage? The what's that? What's the most embarrassing thing a woman's ever done to you on stage? I mean, I heard they tear your clothes off, they tear your shirt off. Do they? No, no I know you were asking about the, the, the panties and things that they throw on stage. Well, I, I, I used to get, I get very upset about things like that when they do that now, because none of them fit me, you know? <laughs> you know, just when I think you're gonna be serious, you pull one of those, I mean. <laughs> they throw panties at you? Yeah, well, that, and I, there was, um, I watched a, a lady comedian talk about the, her, you know, she, about her sex appeal and that men throw their underpants on stage to her, but they, she said they only throw them up for her to wash them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, yeah. you're going to be at the, it's good to meet you finally, because you were supposed to be on a long time ago. And I heard about that. But I don't think you got up in the morning. I think no, that's I, why I you I, be I beg to differ, dear. I'll tell you what. I usually like to, tr like to keep all my appointments, but I didn't know about that. That was a and sort of a apologize. breakdown of communications between Probably, you and yes, yeah. whoever. We'll let you off. Well, I'm here today. Aren't yes, I? God bless you. You are. You're here today. Thank you very much. Everybody's very happy. We'll try to get some autographs between the segments, okay? Okay, we'll try fine. Try a few autographs. And a little kissing, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You'll be at the pre Premier Center tonight and tomorrow and night, tomorrow. right? Okay. Two shows? Two shows a night? Each night, yeah. Each night. Okay. Thank you very much. For You're very welcome. Find out what's new under the sun next.